my name is Nicole and today I'm going to be unboxing this Hisense 40 inch smart TV. This is with the A4 series. So let's get to it. This is a fairly large remote, as you can see here. And it looks like it's got Disney Plus, YouTube, Prime Video, Pluto TV, Plex, Deezer, um, whatever that is, uh, Peacock, Kid, Tubi, Netflix, VidAA, and Fubo are all buttons that they have available, which is really nice so that you don't have to go through the menu. I don't think I've ever seen a remote with that many of the instant buttons available for different types of programming. So that's pretty cool. And then you have other like standard remote features. <laughs> head screwdriver that's what you're going to need to put the screws in it's a very lightweight tv so i think most people could lift it on their own So this is where we will set it up. So we're going to use confirm. English. If you confirm. want to keep text, dash to dash speech, enable please press menu key. And this is the internet we're going to set it up to. I really like that this jumped right into asking the language and then right into connecting the Wi-Fi. So you don't really have to look around for anything. I didn't even have to power the TV on. It came on as soon as I plugged it in and r jumped right into those two things. Um, I think that makes it really user friendly, very easy to use. I'm just going to accept all of these. We're going to skip this. I don't have that account. Um, so this is the home screen. We have um, different Netflix recommendations at the top and then you can see a bunch of the different apps available. Um, it looks like this is Pluto TV recommendations for free TV. Um, this looks really good. Yeah, I gotta say for um, setting up a TV, really easy, didn't have to go through a lot. I've done some other TV setups that took a lot longer than this, so I'm pretty happy with it. Let's power it off and then power it back on just to see what that looks like. Power off was really quick. All right, power on. The home button is what will take you to this. It took me a second to find it, but it's like right between the volume and the channel. Um, so let's power it off again. See what happens when you power it on. So it looks like this antenna comes up each time. So in order to get to the apps, you just need to press the home button and then it takes you here. Pretty simple. I like it. <laughs> 